Hey everybody, it's your personal trainer, Coach Kozak. And I'm Claudia, and this is a kettlebell workout for beginners. This is a total body routine for both fat loss and to improve strength. If you don't have a kettlebell, don't worry, you can still perform this routine with just a dumbbell. Follow me for the beginner exercises. And follow me for those intermediate progressions. All right, let's get moving. All right, let's begin with a light warm up. We're both gonna do a punch out, but I'm gonna do a march in place while Claudia is gonna do a run in place. So throughout the course of today's workout, we'll be showing the different variations and you get to choose which ones are appropriate for you. And with this run in place, I'm really just on the balls of my feet, just putting my energy back into the ground and coming right back. And I'm going at a little slower pace and we're both bringing those hands back to our chin in between every punch. Purpose of this warm up is to get your heart rate elevated, increase that overall core and body temperature, and really just get a little bit of mobility working at the same time. Make sure to breathe and keep moving. Let's just do this first one for five, four, three, two, one, zero. All right, we're both gonna do the same move for the next one. We're gonna do a standing twist. So with your feet shoulder width apart, little weight back in your hips, sit back. And we're gonna twist and rotate at your core using your hips. What I don't want you doing this one is just to move your arms back and forth, but make sure you're actually twisting and rotating those abdominal and core muscles. And making sure to breathe, keeping those arms out in front of you. Side to side, there it is. Nice soft knees, you don't want your legs locked out on this one. Keep breathing. And throughout the course of today's workout, we're not gonna count any repetitions. We just encourage you to move and work at your own pace. Make this workout your own. All right, let's do this one for five, four, three, two, one, zero. All right, we're gonna move into a skier swing. Again, no weight required. Feet are shoulder width apart, little bend in those knees. Let's go ahead and throw our hands back behind us and then use our hips to bring those arms up to parallel to the ground. So it's all on our hips. Our arms may be moving, but it's all that energy and power is actually coming from the legs. So with that slight bend in the knees, I want you to drive those hips back every time and swing those arms up to parallel to the ground. Good. It's a great one to loosen up your posterior chain, that's your hamstrings, glutes, lower back, all getting loosened up on this one. Keep your back straight and try to keep your head in a neutral position. So you want, that means in line with your spine and your back. All right, just five more seconds on this one. And three, two, one, Zero. Good. Okay, we're going to do one mobility drill from the ground before we get started. Go ahead and move to the floor. We're going to come on all fours. We're going to do what's called a pointer. So we're going to take opposite arm and leg and we're going to point them. So the arm is going to come up. The leg is going to kick back and down into a nice straight line. Extend and then alternate and switch. So left arm, right leg, and then right arm, left leg. So kicking back that opposite arm and leg, and then stretch that arm up at the same time. Excellent. Keep your core nice and tight. Back stay straight on this one. Again, really emphasizing, squeezing those glutes as you kick that opposite leg back. I'm gonna do this one for 10 more seconds. Core stays nice and tight. Abs and core stay parallel to the ground, square with the ground. And three, two, one, and last one, zero. 
All right, excellent work. Warm up is complete. Yes, I'm Time ready. Time for the workout. You ready, Claudia? I'm ready. All right, we hope you're ready out there as well. So uh, go ahead and grab one kettlebell for this first one. We're going to do a kettlebell sumo deadlift. So feet are gonna be a little bit wider than shoulder width. Two hands on one kettlebell. The first movement we're gonna do is gonna be in our hips. Kick those hips back and then break at your knees, sit down, head chest up, and come back up. So every time, kick those hips back first before you bend at the knees. So we're gonna get as many reps in as we can in this allotted time period. So don't bother focusing on counting your actual reps. Instead, just keep moving. Breathing, focusing on form. You wanna have that back straight. Again, head is in a nice neutral position. Shoulders are back and retracted. You don't wanna round your back. Kicking those hips back. I'm giving the glutes a nice squeeze right at the top. At the top, yes. Yeah, squeeze those glutes at the top. And on this one, you notice we're both doing the same variation. In order to make this one harder if you'd like to, you just gotta increase the weight. Or decrease it if it's too hard for you. Excellent, that full range of motion, kicking those hips back. Good, pushing out on your knees and keeping your feet flat. Let's do this one for five, four, three, two, one, zero, good. All right, we're headed to the floor for the next one. We both just need our one kettlebell. We're both gonna do a kettlebell floor press, but Claudia's gonna make her version a little bit harder by adding a hip up. So she's gonna drive off of those hips, keep her back straight, glutes are tight, and we're both pressing all the way up, all the way down, full range of motion. We have that kettlebell resting on the back of our hand. Make sure that you're driving through that elbow, that's where your strength comes from. Elbow through the hand. Don't bounce that arm on the ground in between repetitions, nice and controlled, all the way up, all the way down. Working one arm at a time like this is great for working your stability. This works your chest, shoulders, and triceps. Excellent job, keep it up. We're gonna switch sides in five, four, three, two, one, zero. Opposite side now. We're gonna set it down, pick it right back up. Very little downtime and get right back into it. Excellent, I want you to squeeze your chest up at the top, and if you're doing the harder version that Claudia is doing, what should they be doing with their glutes on this one, Claudia? They should be squeezing their glutes right at the top of the movement. Keeping those heels underneath you, back straight. Good, either way, going full range of motion. And if any of the moves today, you start with the harder one and you need to move to the easier, totally all right, or vice versa. You start with the easy one, you feel comfortable, you wanna to move to the harder one, do so. Again, make this workout your own. Keep it moving, guys, you're doing great. Let's do this one for five. Four, three, two, one, and zero. Okay, excellent. Take a big, deep breath and come up on your feet. We need just that one kettlebell again for the next one. We're moving into a single arm row. I'm gonna have my feet shoulder width apart, bent over on a 45 degree angle. Claudia's gonna be in that staggered stance. So she has both knees bent, back is on a 45, core is tight, but with that staggered stance, it makes it a little harder because it forces that front leg to do more of the work. I'm definitely gonna feel it too, right? And right in the glutes. Yes. And on this row, we're pulling back from the elbow. Nose have her opposite hand you can either have it on your hip or just have it to your side and if at any point during the routine you need to switch up your weight then do so again make it make this workout your own on this row let's go ahead and pull back from that elbow every time squeezing your back up at the top this one's a great one to not only work your your upper back but also work your core and let's switch sides in three two one opposite side and if you're doing the staggered stance Switch those feet along with it. You guys are doing great. Really getting moving here. Again, you can kind of see what we're talking about as far as this being a total body workout. Every muscle's getting hit today. That's right. As this workout gets challenging, the further you get into it, the more important it's gonna be to focus on what brought you here today to begin with. What is it? What's your why? What's your goal? What are you moving towards? Trying to lose weight, get stronger, get in better shape. 
kick butt at life, whatever it is, stay focused on it. Let's do this one for five, four, three, two, one, zero. Nice. All right, we're staying standing for the next one. For this next one, I want you to go ahead and grab onto that kettlebell like you're grabbing onto a ball with your fingers and thumbs around that handle. Killer combo move coming up here. Feet are shoulder width apart. First move is a curl. Then we're gonna do a front squat. Weight back in your hips. And then as you stand up, press overhead. So that's one rep. Down, up, curl. Front squat, weight back in those hips and press overhead, finishing up big and tall. Again, breathe, focus on each individual part of this move. And again, it is a compound move, working the biceps, forearms, quadriceps, hamstrings, glutes, lower back, shoulders, triceps. Man, it would be easier to name the body parts that this one doesn't work. That's true. <laughs> and if you want to make this one harder, just need to use more weight. If you need to make it easier, use less weight. Excellent. Don't forget to breathe on these ones. Do not hold your breath. You will regret it. And on that squat, really focus on kicking that weight back in your hips, keeping your feet flat. You don't want to come up onto your heels or onto your toes on this one. Full range of motion. Reset. Perform that curl every time. You got it, guys. Keep it up. Not much more on this one. Let's go. Last 10 seconds right here. Finish strong. In five, four, three, two, one, zero. All right, let's grab our kettlebell and let's move to the floor. So we're gonna take that kettlebell and as we lie on our backs, we're gonna place that kettlebell on our pelvis. Feet and heels are nice and close to our glutes. We're gonna perform a glute bridge, squeeze those glutes up at the top and then lower them back down. The only difference with mine is that I'm gonna bring the kettlebell up to my chest and I'm gonna be performing a crunch and then bring it right back down to your pelvis and again with the glute bridge. So the adding that crunch, that weighted crunch definitely adds a bit of a challenge to this move. You decide if it's appropriate for you today. Either way, keep moving, keep working. One rep right into the next. You guys are doing great. Keep it up. Make sure to breathe. On every one of those glute bridges, I want you to squeeze those glutes up at the top, drive through those heels. And on that, if you're performing the crunch as well, again, Perform a, con a abdominal contraction up at the top, squeeze those abs. And I'm really just bringing my shoulder blades up off of the ground. Yep, it's just a crunch, not a full sit up. That's right. Excellent work, guys. You're doing great. This one is gonna work with those hamstrings, your glutes, lower abs, as well as your abdominals. All getting hit on this one. Keep moving, one rep into the next. You guys are doing great. Don't stop, keep moving. Don't stop when it hurts, stop when you're done. Not much left, we only have 10 more seconds on this one. Making sure to breathe, stay focused on what brought you here today to begin with. What is it, what's your why guys? Let's go three, two, one, zero. Excellent job. Okay, if you have a lighter kettlebell, this one may be one that you may wanna use a lighter kettlebell on. We're gonna do a kettlebell windmill. I'm gonna perform it with a reach to my shin. We're both gonna have our feet on a 45 degree angle. One kettlebell and arm is up overhead. As we bend over, we're gonna kick that hip out to the side. And, and I'm back gonna up. bring it all the way down to my toe and bring it straight back up. So you decide, depending on your flexibility and your range of motion, how far you feel comfortable taking it down. If you guys uh, good flexibility and you want to go ahead and come all the way down and touch your toe, feel free to do so. Or if you're more in the range of your knee or your shin, then that's totally okay as well. But we're using those oblique muscles to help stand us back up and to help support us on the way down. Again, making sure to kick those hips out to the side on every rep. Let's do this side for five, four, three, two, one, zero, switch it up. Opposite side now, again, kick it right up. No break in between, toes are pointed, kick that hip out and back up. And notice we're both looking up at that kettlebell as we go down. That's an optional part of the move. You can either do that or you can just go ahead and stay facing forward, whichever one you honestly feel 
more comfortable with. And in all honesty, it really just helps me focus on the movement and keep myself stabilized. But if you feel it's disorienting, it's not a requirement. Breathe and keep moving, guys. You're doing great. One body part at a time. We're knocking them all off the list. Think about how good you're going to feel when this routine is all done. And you can cross your workout off for the day. Rep by rep, we're just getting that much closer. Right here, guys. And five, four, three, two, one, zero. Excellent. Okay, right into the next one. One hand on that kettlebell, feet are shoulder width apart. We're going to do a kettlebell high pullback from the hang. We're going to load those hips, slight bend the knees. Hips go back and then drive those hips forward as we bring that elbow up and back. The only difference is, is that I don't get to reset. I just go straight from the high pullback to the hang and just on repeat. One yeah. rep right into the next. And you notice on my variation, I go ahead and pull back, reset, and then drive those hips back. So it's that one 1,000 pause in between reps that definitely gives you a little bit of a chance to catch your breath in between repetitions. You decide which one of these is more appropriate for you today. As we're driving those hips forward, I want you to squeeze those glutes up at the top. Always. And pull that elbow back. Let's switch sides in five, four, three, two, one, and zero. Good, opposite side now. Again, all in those hips on this one. Yes, we are using our upper back, but I really want you to get used to loading those hips and then using that power, driving them forward to bring that kettlebell up and back. And again, if you start with the harder variation, you need to switch to the easier or vice versa. We encourage you to do so. Do whatever it takes to make this workout your own. Whatever you do, don't give up. Nope. You made it this far. Just keep moving, guys. You're doing great. Keep breathing. One rep into the next. Staying focused on what brought you here today to begin with. It's all in your head, not even in your body anymore. Keep moving, one rep, right into the next. You got it. No quitting you, let's go. You're a fighter, not a quitter. Let's see it here for five, four, three, two, one, and zero. Nice. Excellent. All right, we're gonna hit those legs next. Go ahead and bring that kettlebell up into a rack position. We're gonna start with a, either a split squat or a reverse lunge. I'm gonna start in the split stance and just drop my back knee down until both knees hit a 90 degree angle. And I'm actually doing the reverse lunge. So I'm doing the same thing where I'm bringing both of my legs back to a 90 degree angle, but I'm coming right back up. So her version, uh, just a little bit harder, a little harder to catch your balance when you're on that one leg. You decide which version is right for you. Again, you focus your eyes on something to help you keep your balance. Drop that back knee straight down either way and you're aiming and your goal is to get both those knees at a 90. If you can't quite get that far, that's all right. Do the best you can. Come back, repeat this workout and get a little bit better every time. I know we're gonna burn out the legs with this Ooh, one, guys. That's all it. right, you gotta push past that burn. Love, learning to love that burn right here. Let's switch sides in five, four, three, two, one, zero. Okay, Ooh. that side gets a break. Let's hit it the other does. side now. Right into it, let's go. That's all right, we know when we feel it working like this, we know at least we're gonna get some results. We're knowing we're doing something. You feel that challenge? That's where change comes from. Rep by rep, just getting a little bit better right here, guys. Breathe, focusing on that goal. What is it? Work on those hamstrings, glutes, quadriceps, lower back, core, all getting hit on this one. Whatever you do, don't bounce that back knee off the ground. It's okay if it touches the ground, but don't bounce it. Let's get this one for just five, four, three, two, one, zero. Excellent okay. job. Okay. All right, we're gonna move into either a curl plus a halo or just a halo. We're gonna yep. grab that kettlebell again in that like, position like we're grabbing it like it's a ball with our fingers in the handle. I'm gonna go curl, and then we're both gonna perform a halo up and around your head. I'm gonna go back down into that curl. And I'm just continuing to do the halo, not stopping for much of a break, and just going right back around to the other side. Yeah, the funny thing is this extra curl actually makes it easier because while your arms don't get a complete complete rest, 
they do get a rest from that halo move. So if you want a challenge, just go right to the left, one halo right into the next. Again, you decide which one of these variations is appropriate for you. Either way, try to alternate which side you're going through as you come up and around. Remembering to breathe. Stay under control as well. We do want you to move at a pretty good speed on this one, but at the same time, we don't want you to go so fast where you're losing control or you're at risk of hurting yourself or dropping the kettlebell. Keep your core tight, slight bend in those knees. You got it, one rep into the next. Come on, almost there, not a lot left Ooh. on this one. Let's just go, last 10 seconds guys, fight through that burn. Fight through that burn, you're almost there. And five, four, three, two, one, zero. All right, Ooh. excellent job. Okay, so we have one last one here. We're gonna do a kettlebell swing. I'm gonna bring this kettlebell up to parallel to the ground. And I'm gonna bring the kettlebell overhead. But the basic movement is the same. Feet are a little mm -hmm. wider than shoulder width. Toes are pointed out. I want you to have a slight bend in those knees. Swing that kettlebell between your legs and then use your hips and drive those hips forward to swing that kettlebell up. This one is not about your arms or your shoulders. It's not about your quadriceps. It is all about those hamstrings and glutes and lower back, Woo, that posterior chain. That's right, all that power is just moving that kettlebell right up over your head. The back straight as you swing the kettlebell between your legs. Actually, go ahead and keep it straight throughout the whole movement. And again, the way I like to describe this, it's on your hips and your arms are just along for the ride. That's right. And I am remembering to give my glutes a big squeeze right at the top. And we're both breathing throughout. Whatever you do, don't hold your breath on this one, guys. We're right there with you, fighting to the end. We're let's almost go, there. Let's go. We're so close. Come on. We're right there fighting with you. Remember, thousands, maybe millions of at home doing this same workout, this same move. Feeling that same burn you are. We're all in it together. Rep by rep. You got it. Come on, Hasfit Tribe. Where are you at? Let's go. Let's go. Last 10 seconds on this one. How many reps can you get? Pushing yourself because nobody else can or will do it for you. Let's That's go. Right. Let's go. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Excellent Ooh. job. You oh, can goodness. set that kettlebell down. Excellent work. I honestly say our entire bodies Ooh. have been worked. Yes. So let's move into a cool down where we're going to allow the, our heart rates to come down slowly as well as getting a little extra mobility work. Let's go and move on over to a wall, a chair, a couch, anything you can hold on to. We're going to do a quad stretch, one leg. And if you don't need anything, you want to test your balance, you can go and do it on your own as well. I usually like to put the opposite arm right into the air. Ooh. Kind of helps me balance a little bit. I don't know. I don't know. I've never done it like that before. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So make sure to breathe. Keep a slight bend in that knee of the, the leg that's down on the ground. Pull that foot back. Again, depending on your flexibility, you may be able to pull your foot all the way back to your, your glutes or maybe not. It's all right. I want you to use this opportunity to allow your heart rate to come down nice and slow. Nice, big, deep breaths. Let's switch sides in five, four, three, two, one, zero. All right, switching sides now. Ooh. Give yourself a second here to just be proud of what you've achieved so far today. You know, it doesn't matter how slow you may be moving at points during the workout. You're still lapping everybody else on the couch, everybody else who isn't doing anything. They're not putting in the work to get better every single day like you are. Just keep showing up and good things will happen for you. Breathe. Nice, big, deep breaths. Let's do this one for five, four, three, two, one, zero. Excellent job. Oh, goodness. Okay, we're gonna do a little combo move next. We're gonna go from a toe touch into a scarecrow. So feet are nice and close, a little bend in those knees. I want you to reach down as far as you can reach. Go ahead and allow your spine to bend on this one. And as you come up, bring those arms up overhead. And we're gonna do a scarecrow, pull down on those elbows. Excellent. Now right back in, back into that toe reach. And Ooh, every my time. My back feels good with that stretch. 
<laughs> and mine does too. And every time you do that reach, try to get a little bit further down as your mobility starts to improve. Again, just with the goal right now of allowing that heart to come down nice and slow. A little re restoration work here. We just spent a X amount of minutes working and now let's do a little repair work. Breathe, nice big deep breaths. Pull down on those elbows and that scarecrow. Let's do this one for three, two, one, and zero. All right, we're gonna move to the floor for the next one. We're gonna do a page turner. So let's go ahead and lie down on our sides, our feet together. And we're also gonna have, go ahead and lie down on that shoulder and this one arm. Put your arms together. Now at the same time, once you go ahead and open up that top arm and look in the opposite direction and then bring it back. So page turner, so you're opening and closing the book. I want you to make sure you're turning with your head as well. So not just moving that arm, but you're opening up your entire thoracic spine as you turn your head at the same time. Go ahead and take yourself through this whole full range of motion the best you can. And if you, again, if you can't quite go all the way to bring that opposite arm on the ground, that's all right. Do the best you can. Get a little better every time you go through it. Let's switch sides in five, four, three, two, one. Opposite side now. Please excuse this big giant pool of sweat I got going on over here. <laughs> it is warm in the gym today, isn't it, it really Claudia? It is. It is warm in here today. A little warm in Northern California yes. today. Yes, it is. We're not complaining, though. No. Could be worse. Oh, I need to move a further away from the wall. <laughs> Don't let that stop you guys out there. Continue to open it up nice and big. These are my six foot two wingspan problems I have over here. Nobody feels sorry for you on that one? Well, okay. Uh, fair <laughs> enough. Again, taking it through that full range of motion, guys. Ooh. Nice and controlled. I can tell this side's a little tighter for me. Super tight. That's all right. We had a tough workout last night as well. So this is much needed. Let's breathe. And let's just do this one for five, four, three, two, one, and zero. Okay. Ooh. Let's go ahead and turn over into all fours for the next one. I'll go ahead and start. We're going to do a little yoga combo here. We're going to start with a child's pose. Go ahead and sit back onto your heels as you relax your shoulders and have you try to straighten out those arms. Bring your head, chest, midsection, and glutes all back as you stretch. Big deep breath. And then let's transition into an upward facing dog. Come forward. You can either come onto your toes or keep your feet flat, whichever you feel more comfortable with. And bring that chin to the sky as you look back. And then let's return. Sit back now, pull those hips back into a child's pose. We're just gonna go back and forth between these two moves, loosening up that spine. Come on into that upward facing dog again. Make sure to breathe. And one more time back into that child's pose. Almost done. And last one into that upward facing dog. For five, four, three, two, one, zero. And that is it, my friends. Excellent way, way work. To go out there, Has Fit Tribe. Way nice to go, work, Claudia. Coach. Thank you so much for working out with us today and grinding it through right to the very end. If you like this workout and you've been working out with us for a while and you're starting to see some results, we'd encourage you to please go check out our Patreon page. It's really the major thing that allows us to keep this great service free. And if you enjoyed working out with us today, we ask that you please give this video a big thumbs up. And if you would subscribe to our YouTube channel so you never miss a new fresh workout from HasFit. Make sure to check out HasFit.com where we have hundreds of free workouts just like this one free meal plans, and our free complete fitness programs. And if you are on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, whatever your favorite social media outlet is, come find us because we're there and we want to connect with you. Again, thank you so much for working out with us today. It's been our privilege. Mm -hmm. I'm Coach Kozak. And I'm Claudia. And we will see you at your next workout.